what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is Eko Simpson I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana well you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it it was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube basically my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora so thank you for checking me out if this is your first time of watching my videos kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, welcome back to the continuation of uh, yesterday's uh, meeting. Uh, today we are back, we are doing the wrap up. Yesterday we listened to the project uh, uh, proposal as to what exactly this concept was about. Uh, we took you to the concept we took you to the, to the tripod of what is actually driving this project. And we had some deliberations from the group after seeing the presentations. So we have reached them to the conclusion that all of us has come to the consensus that we were on the same page. From there, we went to the site. Uh, by the beach, and uh, we saw the beachfront uh, property or land, which is approximately 25 acres. And that is the beachfront alongside opposite uh, St. Augustine's College beachfront, including uh, the uh, area that is currently occupied by the Sulu uh, mechanic. Uh, there. So we are actually taking what appears to be undeveloped, unattended uh, prime property and then turning it into uh, something very high income producing but more importantly producing employment and also stimulating the tourism sector of Cape Coast. Uh, today we went out uh, to visit uh, two additional areas in the Asebu uh, uh, district. Uh, and then uh, we made the chiefs. Uh, we actually took uh, some measurement uh, topography of the area. And this uh, encompasses 2,500 acres each. The two combined actually will be 5,000 acres, which is truly a huge part of land to develop a true city. So when we say we're kind of city of return, we are not actually saying it to make it sound good to the press. We are actually saying it because in reality, we do have all the elements at play to be able to create a true city. We are very grateful uh, for those who were able to join us yesterday uh, from uh, local Ghana and then also our partners uh, from uh, abroad, uh, ADDI and its representatives. These wonderful remarks also welcoming us uh, in, in this uh, beautiful city, the uh, Cape Coast. Also, I have to thank uh, the Chief, uh, 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 His Majesty uh, Nana Bokisi, for this wonderful welcome, for everything you have done to us coming from abroad, diaspora from the uh, United Kingdom and the uh, United States. Uh, we come here to pay the witnesses that we have a city of uh, return is a reality. It's no longer a Wakanda. We have seen the movie in the Hollywood. Actually, we have a, a real Wakanda city. It's taking place we, since yesterday from the presentation that has been done uh, by a whole team of uh, engineers and architects and uh, visiting the sites yesterday on the left front, as you mentioned, uh, going in our way to our kind of city is going to be and the new city uh, for two locations we have seen. Also being able to really develop the, uh, the, the, the fronts, uh, the coastal front we have seen uh, yesterday shows that we are taking the message back to people who say to us, 
very uh, the leadership of uh, African Diaspora of, uh, Development Institute and the, uh, the leader of that institution, who is the Her Excellency Ambassador Kanachowari Kwao, who tasked us uh, to uh, lead these uh, wonderful people to come, the diaspora to come, to see uh, the land. Uh, especially, most importantly, I think, is to connect with you, the people of Ghana. Uh, this Wakanda City of Return is going to be one, the first one in kind for development of Wakanda Smart Cities. The one Wakanda Smart Cities will be developed across 55 African nations. The Ghana has been chosen for a reason because of Ghana we have shown uh, the interest in diaspora. We have done so much from last, uh, maybe last, before the last year. Uh, with the year of the town up today, I think it's due to you, you really deserve it to have the first Wakanda in, uh, here at uh, Cape Coast. Uh, I really have to tell you we are so excited to go in diaspora. Uh, we can hear uh, my name again is Olivier Kamanzi. I'm uh, ADDI uh, Finance Director, also the Chairman of Africa Global Chamber of Commerce. Also, I'm an investment maker. I have an investment firm based in Chicago, so that I said management to be manage people, money of people. We'll be happy to be to mobilize your family to come to invest in our country. City. So we can tell you we have a cross diaspora, people who really interested to come to invest in this uh, uh, initiative of Wakanda City of the time. And money is not gonna be an issue. I have to really to tell you. The issue right now is to make sure we are connected as people, we are coming together as people, we are committed, we are accountable, we are transparent in what we are doing, we really mean what we say, and we say what we mean. And my mother used to say, your home is where you feel good. I can tell you, before we arrived here, I had been discussing with people you see here, and you want to see in this land here, in the next one, who are coming from diaspora, also people who are dying. Everyone I ask to feel Cape Coast City, Cape Coast is their home. I can tell you what my mother used to say, where if you go to your home, you will feel home today. Thank you. It's good to be here, and it's good to be part of what I call a historic moment and a historic movement. Um, I think that um, the time is right that those in the diaspora and those of us on the motherland come together, put our resources together, seek to the building of Africa. It will be to the benefit of those in the, the diaspora, of course. It will be to our benefit as well. And I'm praying that we will all seize this moment and we'll make the best out of it. I have said a couple of times before now, we want to say it again, that posterity will not forgive us if we don't seize this moment and make the best out of it. I head Kikos Technical University, and that's UD Technical University in the Central Region. We are ready to put our resources, our knowledge, and at the disposal of the group so that we can together build the city. I think that um, the movement has started and nothing will stop it. The city will be built and we'll all be proud of it. When the city is built, it will lead to the development of Cape Coast and ultimately the development, development of Ghana and when the other cities are built, it will lead to the transformation of Africa which we're looking for. Africa in a sense has been like a sleeping giant but it's time for Africa to wake up and to take its place where it really belongs. Africa has a lot to offer. Let's all ensure that Africa rises up and offers what it's able to offer so that the world can look at Africa and say, you have done a great thing. So thank you very much. Let's hold hands together and do the best that we can for Cape Coast, for Wakanda City, for Ghana, and for Africa. Thank you. The total cost of the project we know will exceed two billion US dollars. Two billion, uh, two billion US dollars. It is a, a very big project, and we have started to put in place the elements of uh, uh, financing uh, to get us uh, to be able to. 
development. Uh, certainly, before we get on any infrastructure development, we need to be able to make sure that the story, the strategy, and the proper documentation needed for the financing is in place. And that is part of why we went for the side trip today to allow us to be able to uh, properly get the land contours and get the specific dimensions of the land so we can put together our financing package. There are several financing mechanisms, including our bond, uh, private investment, um, uh, raising uh, 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 institutional investments. There are several financing mechanisms uh, that we are we are looking at. Money of this of this size, uh, you do need institutional investment than uh, large private investors. Oh yes, we will encourage individual investors, even in, in, in Ghana and then even people in Cape Coast. Uh, so it's a project that's open to all to, to participate. Who are you involved in this particular project? Uh, you had the um, ADDI, uh, uh, Pelicate Investment, uh, Adepa Africa Investment, uh, uh, CCMA uh, helping to uh, facilitate. Uh, so we do we do have some 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 stakeholders uh, uh, that are helping to move the project. Are there any timelines uh, you are expecting this project to be done with? Uh, timelines. Well, let's just say it's been accelerated uh, from when we first did our media launch uh, to today, as an example. The time has been compressed. Uh, we expected that it would have taken us another six months, but no. Uh, the time has been compressed because we are making very good progress uh, towards the achievement of, of this. Right now, when we met yesterday, what we are doing is actually put together the timelines that you are talking about. So the next time you meet, we meet, we probably will have a timeline for you. No, we, we do have a dream, but we also realize that we must build structures and systems in place uh, to allow us to get there. And, and that's part of what uh, we are putting together, the systems, including the timeline of uh, what it will take us to do uh, to get to the next level. So what are those um, structures and systems, and what does it take to get them to work in? Well, what we're doing is land development, city development for that matter. Uh, and so we will need to work with uh, the, the local government uh, we need to work with uh, the regional uh, uh, governments. We need to work with uh, uh, national uh, uh, government. Uh, so it does have several different components, all of which needs to come together to make the project successful. And so these are some of the various uh, sectors we are looking at. And then we can My name is Olivier Kamanzi. I'm uh, uh, ADDI, or Africa Diaspora. Uh, Development Institute a Finance Director, the Chairman of Africa Global Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Also, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an investment banker. I have an investment firm in asset management, uh, managing asset of our clients. So uh, that's what I can say right now. Okay, so I reckon this is a very huge project and it comes with uh, some finances. How is the financial situation? How are you going to put it? You are very correct. This is uh, um, the Wakanda City of Bhutan. is a multi-billion uh, US dollars uh, project that will require the massive investment in this in Ghana, particularly in the Cape Coast uh, town. Uh, we, uh, as uh, we mentioned before, a major project require proper preparation. We have a team of engineers, a team of architects, we are preparing a, a bankable a project. We are going to make it bankable. As I said, we are uh, bankers. Uh, for me, I have 30 years in uh, investment in banking. So uh, my own company is in investment. So we can mobilize all diaspora. Best believe me, the African diaspora, uh, those who left before us, uh, what we call uh, and, uh, who left Africa unwillingly, and those who left, like some of us, uh, I'm original from Rwanda, at the same time I'm American citizen. We are really eager to return home, to invest and to build Africa we want, to work with African Union on the Agenda 2063 
the African we want to build it. It's not Wakanda is the first step, what you see here in the, in the Cape, uh, Cape Coast. We are going to develop Wakanda cities, what we call Wakanda smart cities across 55 African nations. Ghana, I think, is uh, something you do uh, because the work you have done on this uh, uh, the idea for return, also the contribution of African American being coming in your country. Right now, we are reaching out not only African American, those in the Brazil. You know, Brazil has the largest uh, blacks, in the, uh, the, the second largest of blacks after the continent, around more than 100 million blacks who are really willing to come back home. This Wakanda city is really to mobilize, to bring African in diaspora to come back. What we did yesterday, we brought a team of engineers and architects to come together to cap what you have seen before. That was a concept. So we are moving from a concept to a proposal to give us an idea what how much would it be uh, a seed money, how much we need to raise now to really to start doing the work, even to come up with feasibility studies. You know, feasibility studies cost a lot of money. So we need to know our engineers team of experts to tell us how much you need. That's how some of uh, people in the finance, like him, I have to give a credit to our leader, Ambassador, uh, Her Excellency Ambassador Arikana Chiombori Kwao, who sent me to be here because I'm in charge of finance for ADDI to see what is needed, to be involved from day one, to work for local people, and then to know exactly on the ground what how much will be needed to just have an idea. So that's why we have been visiting different sites to for myself to have an idea how much money will be needed. Once they finish uh, this uh, I mean, the concept uh, of this project, I will match with my own uh, understanding what I know. I, I tell you, I'm in finance for 30 years. Mm -hmm. So I have an idea, I can have an idea exactly how much it could cost is also to do the groundwork. That's the reason why I was here, to just go and be on the field and see exactly what it is, work with the local partners, that's what I did. So, so this one would take like a year, two or three, four years uh, before? That's what the expert will come up with. We are waiting for the expert to give us uh, the timeline, how much it's gonna take, and then we'll come, I think this is the first step, meeting with you. Next time, ask me this question. When I come back, I will be able to tell you.